Hello friends, how are you? Hope you all are well. Welcome to Pharma Awareness channel. Friends, before going to the topic, I want to introduce myself. Myself Shoman Lala. I am having more than 10 years of experience in pharmaceutical quality control and quality assurance department. Friends, I want to thank Mr. Abhijit De and Pharma Awareness team for giving me this opportunity to discuss about computer system validation topic. Friends, uh, we all know that is computer system validation is very much needful for a pharmaceutical company. So today I am discussing about the basic things of computer system validation or you can say the first step of a stair called computer system validation that is URS. What is URS? URS is nothing but user requirement specification. The terminology itself defining that what is the document and what reflects through this document. So URS is nothing but the reflection of your thought process like we are telling user requirement specification that means you are going to give a documentation or you are giving a thought process or your planning through a documentation that documentation helps you to proceed for the computer system validation of any gxp computerized system so first friend i want to discuss one example suppose you are going to purchase a computer for your home. So what you will do? First, you will think and plan for the desktop. So before purchasing the desktop, first you will think that why I need to purchase this desktop for my home. So it may be for gaming purpose, it may be for video creation purpose, it may be for your official work purpose or any work purpose in home. So based on your requirement, first what you will do? You will think of your configuration related activities, right? Like if you want to play a game, then you first think about graphics card, the RAM, the hard disk and all the things which is required to install a desktop. So based on your requirement, your uh, documentation will be created or your plan will be created. So now you want to execute your plan. So before executing this plan, you have to first structureize your requirement like so these requirement is nothing but the reflection of this user requirement specification document, right? So it is with respect to the home desktop. So based on your requirement, you are thinking about the configuration of the system. Now come to the GXP system. So before selecting a GXP computer system, first you need to think that what is the functionality of this GXP, GXP computerized system. So now you are going to decide a computer system validation of GXP computer system. So before going to that, you need to first fix your requirement that what needs to be fulfilled through this GXP computer system, right? So now you are going to establish a document based on this document, further functionalities and further requirement will be decided. So URS is nothing but the first step of computer system validation and by this document your whole computer system validation is standing what is urs first i will discuss about what is urs this is an essential system lifecycle document what is system lifecycle document to establish or to build a computerized system there are certain documentations required so urs is nothing but your primordial document that is the first step of the documentation it reflects the requirement of the user for establishment of the computerized system. So definitely the terminology itself defining that what is my requirement and what purpose I need to fulfill through this documentation and based on that one your computer system validation is established, right? So it is nothing but it defines the functionality of the system. It's exactly the same because through this functionality you are going to create this documentation. Prepare to depict all essential requirements to maintain the compliance. So you all know that computer system validation is not the business requirement only. It is the requirement of the regulatory re regulatory and as well as to meet the compliance, you need to think about computer system validation. So 
by creating the computer system validation documentation you are ensuring nothing but the is compliance or regulatory requirement so it is playing a vital role to meet the to meet the regulatory requirement right is the primary documentation to start a validation approach and it also helps to build a relationship with the user and the computerized system so why i am repeatedly telling that it is a vital documentation because you are the user and the computerized system is a different entity so to build a relationship with you and your computerized system this urs is the main documentation because user is giving his requirement and this requirement is fulfilled by your gxp system so this both things are captured through this documentation and then based on that one your relationship will be built right so what is the requirement of urs to csb so there are several requirements so as i told that business requirement is the one of the requirement as well as regulatory requirement is the another requirement so it guides the validation of computerized system right it track the requirement with respect to the quality regulatory as well as business so it is nothing but a tracking process right what you are going to deliver through the computer system validation that will be simply tracked through this documentation and this is the initial one so based on this initial document you will further proceed for the functionalities further proceed for the requirements so this is nothing but your guiding document to proceed for a computer system validation right now it provide a clear concise and detailed requirement for a computer system so it is a very good sentence and you can see and i am just again repeating this one because it provides a clear concise and detailed requirement of a computer system so you can understand that what is the criticality of this document and based on this documentation only you will proceed for the computer system validation it helps to understand stakeholders from the system and provide basis of testing and verification so as i told that it builds a relationship with user and the gxp system so now you can think that it helps to understand the stakeholders requirement and provides the testing and verification process with respect to this documentation clear now proceed i am just uh, repeatedly i am telling this terminology because urs that the terminology itself defining that user requirement specification so requirement can you tell me that what is the requirement of a computer system validation what are the steps are there now one open question can you tell me that which are the departments which are the major departments is playing the critical role in computer system validation so friends give your answer in the comment box and your comments is very much valuable for us so proceed to the components of the urs that where i will discuss about the requirement specification right again and again i am telling the same terminology that is user requirement specification right so user is the first priority and based on his requirement your system will be established so what is the requirement is it only the business requirement no there are several requirements for a computer system validation like it's a regulatory requirement why because compliance to be maintained through computer system validation right so regulatory requirement is the first one then operational requirement yes to establish your business process to maintain your business process your operational requirement should be fulfilled by your computerized system so this can be specified by your user requirement specification next functional requirement it is similar to operational requirement but with respect to functionality and this will define that how can we proceed for the next step that is functional configuration specification so all these things will be specified and initially depicted through this user requirement specification next is the data requirements yes that is a critical one because we are going to deliver a pharmaceutical company is the critical one which deals with the patient safety so your data is at most important why because it is a quality data it is the data based on which one we are deciding our quality of the product so data to be ensured for the for its protection 
and as well as security. So data to ensure the security or protection of your data, the data requirement that shall be established or that shall be specified this user requirement specification document because how you will handle this data for future reference purpose or data backup purpose all these things will be decided through this documentation so next one is the technical requirement performance right so technically though you have to be very much specified one thing i should say here that before going to write your user requirement specification you have to think technically that your documentation can fulfill your requirement and also all the requirements you are writing in your user requirement document shall be executable and shall be deliverable because you are writing your user requirement and that cannot be achievable or executable then that will be question your computer system validation so friends before going for this documentation but just think of with respect to technically to proceed to fulfill this validation process now next and the critical one is the security requirement yes friends now i am telling this one because we are going to validate a computer system that will helps us to build a business with respect to pharmaceutical organization so pharmaceutical organization is nothing but dealing with the medicine and medicine is the critical one with respect to our civilization so medicine uh, as your quality data is directly impacting the patient safety so your documentation your system must be secured with respect to unauthorized activity what unauthorized activity yes unauthorized activity shall be prevented and that can be achievable with your security requirement suppose one system is using in the gxp controlled environment why i am saying controlled environment because your system is using for a gxp controlled environment so there must be secured with respect to unauthorized activity as human interface shall be there so if i am going for a human interface with respect to computerized system then there shall be a risk next one is the interface requirement as i've already told that user requirement specification document is nothing but a interface with respect to user with respect to computer system your computer system is a separate entity to activate or to achieve the actual requirement of this computer system user must have the interface to connect with the instrument so how you can connect the instrument and how you can operate this instrument to achieve a quality data that must be your requirement and that requirement shall be present in your user requirement document so next one is environmental requirement yes that is the critical one why because your computer system where it shall be installed and how it shall be handled what are the instrument will be handled through this computer system and what environment all these things shall be captured in your user requirement specification why because environmental criteria is a major having the major part in computer system validation next one is performance requirement and validation requirement so all these things are is the with respect to computer system validation all these requirements shall be mentioned and shall be considered during writing of user requirement specifications so if you are trying to create one user requirement specification document then all these categories you have to consider for writing and last but not the least that is your general or business requirement see we are working for a business of any pharmaceutical organization so business requirement is the priority one but along with that one you have to think all the compliance regulatory requirement as well as all the requirements as i have told now friends i am going to tell you that why this user requirement specification is required as i already told now i am going to tell you that what is what are the do's and don'ts of user requirement specification if you are writing user requirement specification that what are the do's and don'ts you have to follow like suppose first and foremost things try to avoid generic statement in explanation of your requirement 
if you are explaining a requirement in this documentation then be specific don't for go for a generic statement what is your requirement and that shall be specific one next one is check whether your requirement is practically achievable and executable during your routine operation suppose you have written one operation but that cannot be fulfilled with your system or that cannot be achievable by your system then that shall not be acceptable to write a user requirement specification because if your activity is not achievable or your activity is not executable then that cannot fulfill your requirement and that requirement shall not be achievable during validation so your requirement must be achievable and executable during its routine operation so before writing your requirement you have to think about the configuration of your system also because you have to think that if i am writing this requirement your system can fulfill this or not next one is better to use regulatory guidance for in reference with the creation of your requirement suppose you are writing a user requirement specification now you have to critically think of your business with respect to business point of view and also with respect to regulatory point of view so you, with respect to regulatory point of view you have to think for the guidelines or what are the guidance are there and you have to also refer these guidelines in your documentation why to track in future that you have your computer system is validated as per current regulatory requirement understand why because your computer system is validated with respect to current regulatory requirement and to track that one this is very much necessary to refer your regulatory guidelines in your documentation check whether your all requirements are captured in your urs or not suppose you have missed any requirement in your user urs then your whole documentation will be disturbed why suppose one system is meeting multiple requirements suppose during creation of your urs you have missed to write the critical part or critical requirement of the instrumentation then what will happen then finally your requirement cannot be fulfilled so before writing the urs you have to critically think that all these requirements has been captured in your urs or not if it is not captured then it will be further impact on your computer system validation so friends my suggestion is whenever you are writing your user requirement specification document consult and sit with the cross functional team also because it will helps to build a bonding as well as business requirement and fulfill our compliance do consider all the pro your processes steps during creation of your urs yes that is the critical one your process steps and your requirements must be aligned suppose your process steps is different and your user requirement is different then you cannot fulfill your business activities so to proceed if your process steps must be aligned with your requirement and that should be achievable and executable by your computerized system and by all these things you will get the actual cream of computer system validation or you can get the actual computerized system validation so friends now what are the things i have told that is nothing but a simplification or simple discussion with respect to your user requirement specification and that is the initial or that is the primary documentation of computerized system validation so, uh, if you have any concerns or any suggestions with respect to this video then then we can you can put your comments in comment box so your comments is very much helpful because to proceed further uh, to improvise our discussion so friends thank you for watching this video that's all from my side thank you